Welcome to 843 TV. We are here at Fish Camp in Port Royal with this absolutely beautiful backdrop. And today our show, I'm very excited to tell you both our guests because we're talking about Beaufort and the economies here. Our guest for today is Mark Piazza, who is the owner of Synergy Home Care in the Low Country. Then we have Kevin Werner, who is the founding member of Magnus Development Partners in, from Columbia. And we, of course, we have John O'Toole, who is the executive director of Beaufort County Economic Development Corporation. What do you think, Lisa? I think we have a lot to share today. So we hope you stick right here and join us for this episode of 843 TV where communities come to speak. Eight four three TV, where the Low Country comes to speak. Eight four three TV, where communities come to speak. And welcome to 843 TV, and I'm very excited. We are here at Fish Camp here in Beaufort, and our guest right now, I want to introduce you to Mark Piegza, who is with Synergy Home Care Health. You are new at this business, correct? That's correct. So tell me about that. So uh, my wife and I, my wife Lisa and I, moved to the Low Country about three years ago, and um, about a year ago, uh, I teamed up. We teamed up with two friends of ours, Bob and Melissa Risk, to start Synergy Home Care of the Low Country. We actually have been in business about three and a half months now. And the reason why we chose to get into the home care business was um, when Lisa and I moved down here. We spent a long time looking at senior living options for my parents who were still up in up north. And through that, we got to know the community really well and, and became very passionate about trying to to help people who needed help in their homes. And a lot of our customer base um, are seniors, but it's not just seniors, and I'll talk about that. But what we realized was that people who need help with activities of daily living typically want to be in their homes. And so what we do is we provide that care in people's homes wherever they call home, and we allow them to extend their lives where they want to be. And so for us, it was really something that was, we were very passionate about helping people to do that. It was a second career for me and second career for my, for my partner, Bob. And this was something we felt really good about doing for the community. So that's kind of how we decided to get into the business. We all had experience, as I said, you know, with our family members needing, needing help. Right, right. Now there is a great need for that in the low country, but there also are a lot of people doing a similar thing. So what makes Synergy a little different? Good question. Well, I think there are a few different things. One of which is um, we have a, um, uh, a great commitment from a front office perspective to make sure that our clients are getting great care. And what I mean by that is we've got, we've got four owners in the office. We have a general manager, a client care manager, and a scheduler. And we make a commitment to our clients that we are always in contact with them. If they ever need anything, one of us as owners or as front office personnel will be there to help them immediately. So if anybody ever has an issue, they need extra help, you know, we have that personal commitment. We're local. We want to, we want to be there for them. So we're, we're always in contact. Our client care manager sees every one of our clients on a weekly basis to make sure that they're getting what they need. So I think if you talk to our clients, you find that you know, we are always responsive to them. And that's one of the ways we differentiate ourselves. Another way is that um, we're expanding the base of caregivers by looking at different areas to attract compassionate people to this business. Mm -hmm. And I'll go into some detail on that as well. But that's, that's different for us in how we look at building out our workforce. And I think that's an important thing that, that we're trying to do. So I think those are areas where we're really trying to differentiate ourselves from our competitors. Yeah, well, I think it's very interesting. And you know, one thing I'd like to ask you, because when let's say somebody's in need. Uh, yes. Give us some examples of who you can help and care for. Sure, absolutely. Well, you know, it's not a surprise that a lot of the client base are older people who mm -hmm. need some assistance with activities of daily living or ADLs. Mm -hmm. And so we'll do anything from uh, companionship to meal preparation, light housekeeping, uh, transportation, you name it, anything that people might need to help them remain in their homes. And that's, so we have a lot of people who are seniors, as I said, but it could also be uh, special needs people. Uh, it could be families coming down on vacation with children who need childcare. It could be anyone who comes out of surgery who's not able to get around or prepare their own meals for a period of time. So it's really all age groups, uh, but given our demographics, we do have you know, a, a fair amount of emphasis on the senior community. You used a very important word, compassion. That's yes. got to be a trait you look for in your workforce. What are some other things that you're looking for in those key 
personnel? Sure. Well, compassion is huge because people really want to have to help people out. Yeah. So it's compassion. It's passion also. Right. Um, mm -hmm. It is um, timeliness. Um, you know, it's dedication to the job because our clients are counting on people to be there when they say they're going to be there. So it's it's really that sort of dedication and willingness and uh, desire to be helpful is really what we're looking for. We're also looking for people at our company who see who see and want advancement opportunities. So um, we're telling people, you know, some people start as caregivers, but they may ultimately want to do something else. They may want to be in client care. They may want to be in human resources. They might want to help us further develop our territories. So, um, you know, we're looking for people who view this as a career and not just a, not just a single job. Yeah. So to expound upon that, because you are looking to hire then. It sounds like you're growing. Absolutely. So we're, we're actually constantly hiring. Are um, you? We are. And so we've, we've done some different things from a standpoint of our hiring also. I think people have this perception that in our business, there's a finite pool of caregivers, but we don't believe that. And we're looking to expand that base. And I'll, I'll cite one example for how we've done that. So one of the first things we did when we started our business in November was we developed a, a relationship with the uh, career development uh, team at the Marine Corps Air Station. And so uh, one of the first things we did actually was go to a job fair there and we've been continually recruiting at the air station. And so that's for both Marines who are transitioning out into civilian life as well as family members who may want a job while their spouse works um, you know, on active duty. And so what we find in those people is they are uh, obviously very dedicated. Yes. Um, you know, they are compassionate, um, they're timely, um, and they want career advancement opportunities. And so we've developed a great relationship with that team. In fact, our, our caregiver of the month for um, January is a woman named Vanessa Nelson, who is an active duty, was an active duty Marine who just transitioned out. And she was one of the first people we hired, actually. And she's been fantastic. You know, it's interesting. So is the, I mean, a lot of people, it sounds a wonderful opportunity. Um, are you, you training? Are you giving them training resources and things like that? Absolutely. Education? So we are. So we do a number of different things. So we have a, um, a great training program that we put people through. We also have continuing education that's mostly uh, with an online platform that we have um, called Relias mm -hmm. that goes through a, a bunch of different modules that they can train on related to our care. But we also have um, developed a relationship with Apprenticeship Carolina where we have an apprenticeship program. So people that we hire who do not have, for example, a certified nursing assistant degree, we will uh, put them through a program. So through that Apprenticeship Carolina program, we also have a relationship with, with TCL, Technical College of the Low Country, where we have a, scholar, or have a bunch of scholarships where we can put caregivers through a CNA program oh, at wonderful. no cost to yes. them. Yeah, I love it. I, and in today's mm. times, too, you know, while we're all <laughs> quarantined in our homes, yeah. look online. How do they, we'll find your website and go apply. I think exactly. that's the best thing. Exactly. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Right, we'll be right back with 843 TV.